Sí. One car, there's a little bit of oil everywhere. <laughs> okay, well, that's better than zero cards. Since I'm only picking one card here, um, I'm trying to figure out if the uh, column 84 signal, which should signal the end of the card reading, uh, is present. We'll see if that works. but coming out sometime all right that was pretty good all right uh, to summarize now the mechanics works but I can only read one card and I check with the scope and I don't get my 84 column reading so I was looking for an excuse to break out the logic analyzer and I just have one so I instrumented the whole electronics here and I'll get all these nice signals and I think something's happening in the uh, system that counts the column which is uh, quite nice actually uh, it uh, syncs the electronics to the mechanics instead of doing the contrary and those things are immensely powerful they used to be super expensive but now they're of course very slow compared to modern computers so they cost absolutely nothing on eBay so I'm trying to first get to see if the uh, preset uh, counter is working so I'm trying to get that that's the clock that's the good pick signal that's the preset clock and it should go to zero after the preset timing and uh, well, let's see if that works for it and so let's trade one card one two three got it all right first time is a success actually this is the second time I did it before just to be sure but this is my first time to use this machine so and it looks like everything is doing mostly all right here so I have the system clocks fine the first phase of the clock is fine phase C that's a good pick uh, that the car has been read and then then I should have the pre the preset clock yeah I do have it we see the preset clock which calculates where the column should be uh, is okay so let's add a TST1 the, the, the timer strobe that's the one that counts where the car is um, select insert there it is I instrumented that one select Yeah, so that's the one that's good. Uh, it means it's reading, it's just, that's the uh, one that's reading how the car advances. So it's, it's a hardware pickup on the magnet. All right, good pick. Preset clock detects the right timing. The uh, magnetic pickup uh, reading position of the car is working. 
So now I need to figure out, uh, let me insert another TST2, time stroke 2, the one I want to select. And that's working fine too, that's the strobe that's generated in, in a phase with the clock. Oh, wow, that's working too. So then I'll be darned as uh, strobe uh, zero phase B. That's the one that's doing my uh, count of column should work. Not quite, it's missing one right here. So let's look at this more closely. So that's my my magnetic pickup. The pulses generated with that. And that's every time it reads a column. No, every two one it should read a column, then it does the up clock count. So let's zoom in on that. And it's doing the right thing. It uh, clocks up until it reaches. So that's that's the delayed calculates to figure out where uh, the card is uh, with relation to the magnetic thing, which uh, is just asynchronous with the edge of the card. But once it measures it for a card, it continues to to count it, and it seems to count it always the same. So that's good. But then. There's something that's not good. It's not getting me my stroke beam. So I should have one at the end of each column, which is every two of these over here. And I have one at the end of this column. And then it skips two. Let me just zoom out of that. And it skips one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I think I found one flaky circuit. Yeah, so that's not right. They should be this regularly and it just picks it up once in a while. So something is wrong my, with my generation of uh, and the strobe 0B, which is my which should read a column and that's why I'm not getting 84 columns on a card and I never it never picks up another one. Ooh, the power of the logic analyzer from the 1980s. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun as you can tell. So the plot thickens. There is a zero match uh, that is a precursor to the strobe B and it happens at the end when, when the up clock is done and that is fine. And it's just a few gates away from where uh, the strobe zero B is done so I think that uh, I have probably threaded the circuit that's wrong right here. I have to look at the schematics, but um, if I have the one at the bottom, I should have the one at the top. And that, that's a close-up on what's going wrong, so that's right, I have the uh, offset reset, and then the up clock counts, then I have a zero match with the first measurement of the delay. And then on this one I get my strobe at the end, that's fine, and the other one don't work. So something happens between the simple change of that one to the gating to the clock. And here is the schematic of the sync card, and uh, that's where it does the matching of the offset clock up counter. And the zero match, I put it uh, over here. And that was a good intuition here, because this is not a something was anywhere but oh my goodness it's just one gate away the signal that works is one gate away from the signal that doesn't work so 
how lucky can I be? So this is fine, it matches every column and then it's mixed in with the clock phase B and it gets the strobe phase B and I don't get my strobe phase B every time I have a zero match so either this gate is bad or uh, this guy is delayed or something is wrong with it so uh, gee, that's the gate that's bad alright I think we have found the fault so now I have just to find a way uh, to instrument that gate and figure out what's happening if it's not getting the input right.